Hey, Spike, get it while it's hot, buddy. Huh? Uh, I feel the vibe, I feel the vibe. I'm extra live, I'm extra live. And I don't need improvement. Fell asleep, a man woke up superhuman. Yo, Internet, what's going on? Welcome back to the John Graves Show. Uh, it has been a minute since I've actually dropped the anime review up on my channel. And believe me, if you read the title, yeah, I have been I, I have been reading the Dragon Ball Super Manga. And I've been keeping up with it behind the scenes, but I really haven't had too much to really say about it because it has been getting criticized from here to Timbuktu, believe me. Um, with, with people being super critical of Moro, how certain characters play out, Vegeta needing another moment. It is what it is. But there's something really interesting that I kind of want to cover. And I'm, and, I'm, and I'm about to briefly mention manga chapter 64, 65 before I finish up with 66. Okay? Let me, let, 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 let me jump into that for like a quick, quick second. Today's ad is brought to you by the book known as Mizuki Lineage of, of the Dragon. What, say, what's that book um, uh, you're asking? Well, hey, it's a fantasy story written written not by Jesus or Gandhi, but hey, me, say me and Deshaun from Deshaun R Show. Hey, uh, all the information that uh, you need is right here up on this wonderful website. You can check out the characters. You can read up uh, uh, read up upon what the book is about. And also on top of that too, you can even read the prologue in the first two chapters for free. Mizuki Lineage of the Dragon. Pick up the paperback copy on Amazon or download the Kindle version and read away. Any more information? Hey, please check out our Facebook page and the Instagram page and you get way more information, pictures and everything in between thrust upon you. So hey, give it a look and don't forget to leave a review on Amazon. Uh, catch you guys after, after the video. Please continue watching. Manga Chapter 64 is really interesting to me, mostly because of the little fact that Goku using Ultra Instinct to actually stop a to stop Moro and how he stops Moro, which that he's just better than him at that point. Like he's physically more durable, strong, and everything else. And it's kind of the it's kind of like it's a battle between their ideologies where that Ultra Instinct is supposed to be the, it's supposed to push the body to the pinnacle of training and you being like in a Zen state where that it's all your skills, martial arts, training and everything else just push to such a height to where that your body just moves on its own. It's, to, it's, the, it's the pinnacle of muscle memory along with like instantaneous movement and uh to like um say like while um instinctively relying on training and things which that you've done for years whereas moro's strength is built around i'm gonna steal my energy from other people i'm not going to train i'm not going to learn i'm just gonna steal it from somebody else and it's momentarily uh and it's a momentary game it's kind of like the long-term problem versus the short-term problem which which do you prefer and this battle scene it seems to be the idealized like form of that where that of course since this is dragon ball z of course like if you train you're going to win this fight so and it is what it is but it's perfectly done and expert uh and expertly ex uh, executed so i do really like like that so so I give them kudos for that. Moving on to manga chapter 65. The manga chapter which, again, uh, it did make a lot of people angry and I can understand why because of the Sensu Bean thing. And honestly, if I can be real here, like the Sensu Bean thing to me personally, it doesn't really mean much to me because first and foremost, Goku was all, like every time Goku does this, he, it's always from the idea of pity, where that I give you a choice, I basically dominate you, and then, then like he's already at a point to where that he can't be stopped, or better yet, the person in which that he's fighting, like even if they heal, they can't, like they can't stop him. Now, mind, now mind you, it was a bit more of a problem when 
win like he did that when when Gohan was fighting Cell. But again, the point still still say, stand, stands where where Goku's mind mindset was. Gohan is strong enough to beat Cell even even with the Sensu Beam. So again, you can kind of see that ideology here, especially when like that they show it where that Beerus, oh not Beerus, Moro actually tries to attack Goku after he gave him the Sensu Beam. He tries to attack him, he breaks his arm. To say like it's it's just to that point. And I also kind of like the little di the little dialogue uh, where Goku's talking to Miro about like you should train because you will get stronger and morals like training is for the weak it's just it's just it's just a crutch for the weak which again which he doesn't really see the he he doesn't see the see the irony of that or better yet see the foolishness in his words to where that the person who trains is someone who just beat him you know what i mean but of course because of plot and everything he does he does ten man to kind of get that crystal, the one like that. He um, stole some energy from Mirus, and he takes that and puts it on his forehead. And now he's like, "Yeah, I got this big power boost, boost. I got this angel energy." But I also kind of remember too, like when some of the some of the other reviewers were talking about how like that that um, this uh, this entire arc was kind of kind of pulling from other arcs and whatnot to kind of like stitch yourself together and form together and I could see a little bit of that here where that this chapter was a bit of bit of the previous uh, Go Goku Black arc when Goku Black and Zamasu fused and then they started to break down and whatnot because you kind of see that here here and they say that his body can't it can't contain the angel energy to the point to where that it's slowly kind of corrupting his mind and whatnot well, I don't think they say it, but you can clearly see it. And I feel like it's also a bit of that GT arc where that uh, Goku, uh, Pan, and Trunks went went to that robot planet, and the guy was uh, I, f I forget his name, but uh, he would merge like he merged with the planet to beat Goku. And it was one of those those things, which which, which I do find interesting, yeah. But um, it plays out pretty well. But then. You kind of get to what like what is the crux of chapter 65 65 is more I've, I've pretty much appreciate it only because of the mindset or at least like or at least like them actually not like not only battling battling physically in the previous arc but them kind of having a conversation in this arc to kind of see like you know like can they reach a middle ground and a, clearly they yeah, can't so you know I so I so I see where they're I see where they're coming from with uh, with them say with them talking and then jumping back into the fight you know I'm gonna try and make this quick because chapter 66 is a really good ending for this chapter now we've seen spirit bomb endings in most of these chapters so far or at least when it comes to Dragon Dragon Ball Super we have seen a lot of spirit bomb endings and whatnot but the spirit bomb i believe it's only killed about uh if you're not counting movie villains i believe it's only killed like super boo like that's like that's the only official villain like that it's killed back back in z in the like in the movies like when he knew it he used it to kill everybody but you can clearly see that in this one that yeah they were going to end it with a with, with a spirit bomb but um but uh getting into this one moro's now fusing with the planet and goku is most likely struggling now because because him and uh because him and moro are on the same level but it did kind of shock me to where that uh beerus actually was like yeah i think i should come down and actually take care of of, of this problem because you know him because i can't have him de uh de destroying the earth that's where I keep all my stuff at. So, you know how that goes. But before he could act, apparently, I believe that they got a call from from the Grand Priest, and I and I could be wrong, but I'm sensing that it might be be because of um, Miris's um, uh, re, um, 
wiped from 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 existence and him using his angel powers again when he wasn't supposed to so most likely they have to go and explain that but in but in the meantime yeah Weiss and uh Beerus they have to well well now they're going to uh well now well now Weiss gave Goku the information to stop um uh, Moro before they left which of course is hit the crystal again then you say this is over but because but because Moro is draining draining planet from uh draining energy from the entire planet Goku's feeling a little weak so you know Vegeta shows up and or at least I believe Moro is kind of fusing with the planet like his whole body is and Vegeta comes in to try and like separate his energy from from the planet just so his head could stay stay uh, like above ground so Goku can go and uh, destroy the crystal and of course Goku does his thing working with Vegeta but that is until he gets caught then as a last ditch effort like all like all the z warriors and z fighters and everybody else they put their hands up in the air to summon the spirit bomb and use that energy well we're not vegeta focusing the energy and then giving it to goku just so he can go and uh destroy the crystal they get a little bit away ways in but then you know doesn't work and this actually was one of the more like kind of sad things to me to where that they were actually about to give up and just let say well hey we're like we're out of plans there's nothing else that we can do we might as well just die well hey let we, we can't have go goku dying like in a embarrassing way so let's go cut him down you know that kind of thing but then this is when the random part kind, kind of comes in because because Jocko was talking about where's Majin Buu? Where where is he? But then all of a sudden you see energy coming from Oob and I believe um uh he was with the uh grand the the Grand Supreme Kai which I believe that um they had Dende explain explain it explain it away that that um while while we all thought that Majin Buu had all of uh while Majin Buu had all of the Kai's powers apparently it was split uh he, he was split off and some of it was given to Oob Oob while Majin Buu has um the other half which again I do like because then it kind of makes um Oob be a bit more important if they ever decide to redo the GT stuff which I believe that which again if they do like this chapter kind of kind of ends in a way to where that <laughs> like that that might actually happen but let me finish this, this up though goku kind of uses the energy makes a giant uh um uh susana of uh, of himself and then basically destroys miro and ends it with a thumbs up so that's kind of how it ends do i find this entire arc bad of course not it's dragon ball z we love it everybody else loves it and honestly it's a good foundation my say i mean i mean we're still asking for more more time with with a um, gohan trunk uh, trunks and also goten but hey what can you do really but just accept it for what it, for for what it is they kind of explained what they needed to explain for goku and uh and uh, and Vegeta so now if they want to do anything else with any with any of the other characters they most definitely can I mean this is the time man to build on it but hey I think it's pretty okay if any if anything I, I would give this one a 7 out of 10 it's pretty good not perfect but it's pretty good I recommend it but I'll see you guys on the next next John Grave show please keep watching anime keep playing video games I'll see you guys next time. I got a lot of videos to get off my chest, man. Stay tuned, right? <laughs> Peace. It's ready. What is it? Special bell peppers and beef.